what can go wrong? Oh, hell no. Look at that. Salmonella. 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 What is up everybody? It is your girl me if you don't know me and welcome back to another video or welcome to this channel If you guys are just clicking in and seeing my face for the first time I hope this video finds you guys well today I'm going to be making and trying out the fair chung for the first time translates to Vietnamese egg coffee this is a very popular thing in Hanoi which is north of Vietnam both of my parents are Vietnamese and I am born and raised in Canada I have never ever tried this before I'm reading this off of Google in 1946 an individual by the name of Nguyen Nguyen Yang what is it how do you say it I can't read or pretty much right Vietnamese only a little bit the accents throw me off I think that's how you say it please in response to the pressures of a milk shortage caused by the French war Yang was in egg as a much needed substitute and he used an egg yolk to replace milk is very innovative well learning things every day i haven't gone to vietnam since 2009 the next time i can go i want to try this what do we do if we don't have access to this at home yeah mời các bạn mời quý vị cái này oh my god i cannot speak vietnamese for sure. we're going to need hand mixer you can also use a whisk no but it takes Longer. Vietnamese coffee filter. Grounded. Cafe. Some condensed milk. Just like a fair sữa dao. Building on top of it. You can honestly eat this on its own. Dip this with some toasted bread. It's pretty bomb. And the final ingredients. Raw egg yolks. We're going to be pasteurizing these eggs. Thank you so much. Emmy made in Japan. Tell me this. Start off with making our coffee first. Oh. Oh. Level it out by shaking it. This piece, we'll call it the plunger, call it the press. Twist it on top, make sure it's nice and tight. Pouring hot water over it, you first just want to cover up the coffee. Fill it up to there because we want to make sure the coffee grinds bloom or expand. Fill it up just a bit, just like that. Wait until the water sinks in the coffee dripping if you trust your eggs you can skip this step but we are going to pasteurize some because drinking eggs just in case salmonella just in case just in case just the thought about it kind of like ugh, gooey and ah uh, i just think about people drinking it straight up for like protein We have to stop it at 140. It's time, it's time, it's time. White yolks. Can she do this? Please don't break yolk. Boom. We're going to add this into this mini cup so it's easy to whip up. They recommend you to put it in a beaker. Oh, hell. No, look at that. Why? <laughs> Why did my dog put it in this cup? I'm gonna start this all over. My hand slipped in this. I don't know if I could save the yolk, but this is pretty much pasteurized. I gotta hurry up and scoop this up somehow. So, found this in my egg. In the whites. Can someone tell me what that is? Oh my god! What like, is that? They kind of look like peanut shells or whatever. There's like a few dots. Is it safe to use this even? Is this a disaster for a reason? Will I get sick? There, without breaking. Oh my god. We saved it. But this, I don't know. Ew. I'm gonna Google it. Blood spots is what they are. Eggs with blood spots are safe to eat, but you can scrape the spot off and discard it if you prefer. Okay, we're not using the egg whites. I feel a little at ease. Continue to use those eggs. So far, I feel like I'm actually failing this already. It's supposed to be like a five minute drink and it's taking me 
way longer because I'm screwing up. For your eggs, use an actual bowl. I thought that it would be easier. Clearly not. To eyeball this, but we're aiming for three tablespoons. All the way around. Three tablespoons, three. Whip this up just like whipped coffee. If you know Dalgana coffee, reminds me so much of that. It's gonna double in size or like expand a bit and it should lighten in its color. We gotta make it nice and foamy. Hope I don't make a mess this time. I actually don't know if I'm doing this right, but this is five minutes. Yeah, I'd say use a hand mixer rather than a whisk because you might break an arm. I've seen other people make this and it was more white, but we did reach a lighter color. You have to make sure the egg mixture floats on top of our coffee. Made quite a bit for it. So to tell, cup of water. So I had to see if it floats on top of it. Looking good, I think it's about ready. I think eating a straight up raw egg will be in my head while I'm drinking it, but trick my mind, you trick my mind. But I hope I don't really taste much of the eggs on like that, that taste. There's two ways to drink this, is to mix it or drink it layer by layer. I don't know what to expect with this, but I hope it tastes like an egg tart. Oh, it makes it creamy. That's why he substituted. I get it. You can hardly taste the egg in this, but it's it's good. Okay, I think it's time to mix it now. It's a little sweet thanks to the condensed milk. I don't taste the egg in this, which is a plus. It tastes like foamy, creamier cafe soda because the condensed milk is already in here. I mean, just the thought of egg being it, I think that's like a minus, but being on the safer side, I like my cafe soda. Oops. And then I'll taste it more, maybe. Iced coffee. Okay, maybe just a little bit of that egg taste to it. Vietnamese iced coffee with egg tart. It doesn't taste like you're eating a raw egg or anything or even like an egg yolk in a sunny side up egg. But I still don't trust it. I might get a stomach ache. I just hope I don't get diarrhea or anything after this. I mean, I guess this is the closest I could get to the Vietnamese egg coffee. I would love to taste this in Hanoi. I think if I ever go to Vietnam to eat my way through the country, would love that. I would bring you guys along. Let me know if you guys would try this drink or if you did, what do you think about it? Just learn from my mistakes in this video if you're gonna make it. Don't use a small tiny cup for the egg yolks because it will splatter everywhere as you saw you see blood spots in the egg whites then you're fine according to google that is gonna be it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed it take care of yourself take care of your loved ones i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys <laughs>